Hey, I want to thank all of you for joining me here for my uh, quintet. Uh, where's the Where's the bassist? Oh, yeah, he he said something about a paying gig. What? Uh, uh, okay, I guess I'll just make this a quartet. His part wasn't crucial anyway. Uh, so all of you approach the first movement of this quartet, and your eyes gravitate down to the page. What is the first thing you do? What key are we in? Oh, that's a good question. Make a group investigation check. 42. Wow, what is your modifier? Plus 22. <laughs> I guess that tracks. All right, what about the rest of you? 34. Uh, 17. 17. Hey, great rolls. All right, everybody here successfully determines that, hey, while there's one flat in the key signature, it's actually D minor. So all of you play that nice D minor chord structure to start, and you you guys are on. Like, you guys are off playing this uh, beautiful piece that I've written. Who's taking the lead? Definitely me. I'll assist. All right, uh, go ahead and make a survival check with advantage as you attempt to lead the party through a particularly hazardous part. Seven. With me assisting? With me assisting? Yes, I rolled a one and a two. With your eyes closed and the whole party following you, you careen off from that comfortable 4-4 into my favorite time signature, 15-8. I'm sorry, 15-8, really? Oh, I'm sorry, is this your first time playing something from this century? What do you do? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just- Uh, do I notice this happening? Roll a perception check. Oh, 18. Well, you do indeed notice that the first violinist is paying zero attention to the notes on the page. They are literally not paying attention. I'd like, I'd like to cue the group and Get them back on track. Okay, make a persuasion check. Negative two. Uh, negative two? Uh, yeah, <laughs> got a minus five modifier on persuasion. No one pays you any mind, Violist, as, wit as you witness the party careen over that time signature change and headlong into the original time signature. <laughs> Everyone suffers. 12 points of confidence damage. Ah, I have a natural resistance to confidence damage. Well, of course you do. Well, so I guess that would only be six points to you. So, discordant tones are flying out of the ensemble at this point. The train is coming off the tracks. What do you do next? Um, I'd like to play my part out up a few dynamic levels and really accent the, the downbeat so I can try to pull the first violinist out of his stupor. All right, make a, um, make a performance check. Natural 20. Well done, all right. So your excellent playing finally pulls the violinist's face back to the page, and you realize in horror that you've been off this whole time. But the quartet is back on track now, and you have awarded the first violinist an inspiration die. So with the crisis averted, you all continue on for the next couple of pages. Not a heck of a lot of danger here, but who's helming the expedition? I'll take second watch. All right, make a survival check. Are you gonna help me? Well, I, I could, but mm, yeah, you're right. I'll do it alone. 16. Oh, great. So you managed to lead the ensemble through some difficult syncopated passages here, and even the violinists have started paying attention to you and your confident play. So, as you guys are playing uh, this piece, you see towards the end of the staff, the dreaded script, D.S. Alcoda. I need everyone to make a group history check. Uh, my background indicates that I'm overprepared in everything I do. Does that give me advantage on this? I'll allow it. Ooh, what about me? 
That doesn't really fit your narrative, does it? No. Uh, 14? Uh, 18? 24. Uh, well, what did you roll? Natural one. Well, everybody but the second violin remembers that y'all see the DS sign way back on page two. The second violinist, on the other hand, just careens right on into the coda. I shoot the second violinist. We agreed no PvP, so no. I shoot the second violinist a fierce glare. Okay, roll an intimidation check. Well, I rolled a two, but I have a reliable talent in intimidation. So that becomes an eight, which brings my total to 20. Well, well, you scare the second violinist. The second violinist is startled and realizes that they are in the wrong place. Second violinist, you stop playing completely and the rest of you are playing as a trio. Um, I'd like to see if I can figure out where we are. Mm, sure, but uh, first you're going to take <laughs> 20 points of confidence damage. Jeez, oh, that leaves me at two. And now you can give me an, uh, an investigation check. 25. Hmm, great. So you do eventually find your way back to page two where the DS sign is. I would like to see if I can play both of our parts at the same time so that the audience doesn't know the difference. Yeah. All right, make a performance check. I'm going to tell you right now, though, this DS is a uh, DC. Natural DC. 20. All right, fine. Uh, sure. You not only play your part perfectly, you somehow improvise the second violinist part perfectly, and the audience has no idea. Second violinist, you are going to take... Uh, you are going to take 10 points of confidence damage, as you are just outmoded completely by the first violinist. I'm... I'm dead. Oh, who's next? I'm just happy to be here, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. We gave you a freaking D20. I didn't know.